Hello everyone, my name is Jaydeep and today we are going to do something very cool with Python. Imagine that you have a large customer and you have access to their big and huge database which has a lot of text with labels just begging you to perform some natural language processing and machine learning on it. Machine learning itself seems like a beast and on top of it, it seems that the customer endpoint you have access to spews out XML. Yes, my friend, XML. It's a legacy app. What can you say? But don't worry. We are going to see how we can conquer XML land, use and run machine learning on it using a dragon, which is Anaconda, and sword, which is fast text. Anaconda is a data science oriented Python distribution, while fast text is a machine learning library by Facebook for natural language processing. Now to go ahead, you need to install Anaconda for XML parsing, FastText and Jupyter for seeing and running the code. Once done, you are ready to run machine learning on XML data. I already have all the dependencies installed here and I'll go ahead and run Jupyter, Notebook, No Browser. This has created my Jupyter Notebook instance. I copy the URL, go over to Chrome, paste it here and start my Jupyter Notebook. I already have the code ready for running FastText, which is in the Jupyter Notebook simple FastText supervised training. And so I will open the notebook. We are going to download the data from the archive.org site and using the wget package of course wget only runs for mac and linux users and hence if you are using windows you need to go to the site and uh, download the data site is opening up so you can see that uh, options are there for seven zip files text files and torrent files and download whichever data makes most sense to you in case you download the 7-zip files you need to have the 7-zip uh, software installed installed so that you can unzip those files now once done i will call here the element xml.e3 element package and parse the post.xml file so post.xml if you take a look at the post.xml file so in this case i'll press escape and a to create a new cell and then enter to go inside it and then do a head on the file you can see that it has uh, every record is uh, marked by the tags tags such as id post id accepted answer and so the tags that we are most interested in is the title which has the text and the tags which has the labels so i can parse the labels the labels come in this format so i can here also we will use the uh, we will take help from the rejects library and then we parse the labels into our uh, different labels that can be seen in the list below So here in the get label text function, you can see that I'm getting the labels, I'm parsing the labels and converting them to a list. And then I pass the label under dunder label dunder uh, prefix text prefix before them. This is needed from a fast text perspective. Needed from a fast text perspective. So fast text needs the label prefix to be before the labels so that it can distinguish between the labels and the text so then i join the labels with the uh, title uh, the value of the title i i run i get all the text from the uh, from my xml and if you can see my uh, each individual record comes in this format per label where all the labels come at the uh, where the labels and the text are put together this is also again something that is required from a fast text perspective 
Next, we want to do a training and a validation. We will shuffle the data so the similar data does not come together. Uh, please remember that shuffle in Python is more the shuffling in place. So this is more like a method. Once done, uh, I will differentiate. I will split my data into training and validation sets where 80% goes into the training data and the remaining goes into the validation set. Once done, I will have the um, data in post.train file and post.validation file. This is also needed from a fastex perspective. The list needs to be saved in the files so that fastex can process them. I will then call the fastest uh, train supervised function which is present in fastex and pass the training data. This will train the model and then it will um, give the you can check the results using the model.test. You can also get the predictions by uh, passing model.predict, pass the whatever text you are interested in and the number of labels that you are interested in. This will give you the predictions along with the predict probabilities that it is there. Now let's try and run this. So I'll need to basically pass the data. Okay, oops, I will probably need to run this, this. Okay, it is parsing the data. My roots.tang is post. Uh, so get all the data, shuffle the data. Uh, split them into training and test, save them in a file. Interesting thing to note is once it has started training the data, you should see it training in the logs here. So you should see the training in the Jupyter logs. So once the progress has reached 100%, your uh, Jupyter state should go to not busy and then you can get the results. Thanks for watching this video. Please do share your feedback on this and do let me know what next I should cover. Thank you. Bye-bye.